Next, we are going to see a uh, principle of forward folding. First of all, for the uh, packet filtering technology. So as mentioned uh, just now under the uh, packet filtering firewall, packet filtering firewall is actually based on packets. And this particular packet filtering technology is also mainly used together with ACL. So whether the uh, packet can pass through the firewall or without or he say unable to pass through the firewall is depending on the uh, access control list. So the rule under the access list will actually tell the particular packet that match to the certain rules will be allowed or denied. So for the firewall security policy, we actually have some uh, definitions. Now the definition over here is that the security policy is used to control the uh, traffic for between the device, whether it is according to the specified rules and as well as some actions. So the basic functions of firewall is to protect the network from being attacked by any untrusted network. So any data that match our security policy will be allowed to pass through the network. So Major application of firewall security policy is actually used uh, for the communications across the firewall or as well as for the communications towards the firewall. The firewall security policy can be configured by using a uh, telnet or web user interface as well as by command. What we can see now is the uh, firewall security policy mechanism. So what we have over here is that the firewall security policy will actually have a list of rules that tells uh, the actions of different types of traffic when they pass the firewall. So security policy will define a rule, a list of rules for the data that uh, pass on the firewall, then this particular data packet will be able be, uh, be able to filter by the firewall according to the rules. So in the firewall, uh, security policy are the basic uh, guideline for the network security access. And whether the subsequent data packet are pass or uh, deny, it will be based on this particular list. So what you can see over here, we have uh, three different steps. Okay, example, let's say, example, we, let's say we have the uh, step one, incoming data flow passes through the firewall. So our step one, we actually have the list of data flow. Now, according to the security policy over here, example, Policy 0, permit subsequent operations of A. Then policy 1, deny subsequent operations of B. So based on this uh, policy, we basically we have an idea is that we should actually allow A to pass through and we'll deny B. If neither policy 0 or policy 1 is matched, therefore we are going to follow the default policy operations. So in Huawei Firewall, by default, policy operation is to deny all the traffic to pass through. So in this case, once we actually have our data traffic comes into firewall, then we have our step two is here. So according to step two, we are going to allow uh, all the ES A to pass through. So in this case, this is what you can see. So if let's say none of them are matched, then everything will be discarded. So this particular firewall security policy can be actually uh, filtered according to the source and destination IP, source and destination zone, okay, the security zone that we talked about early on, the logic area. Then based on region, based on the user, as well as based on the service, such as the uh, port number, and the protocol 
applications as well as schedule. Then what you can see over here is the firewall inter zones foldings. So this basically is uh, pretty much the same as just now, whereby if let's say the client trying to access to the server, you can see that the firewall itself classify uh, the interface as different uh, zones. For the trustworthy client, we will call them as trust zone. For the untrustworthy, we will call them untrust. So based on the idea over here, the firewall will actually need to be configured with security policy that they find uh, what kind of actions or what kind of matching that need to be configured in order for the traffic to pass through or to be denied. So once again, we have a list of uh, rules. Okay, then you can see that it says the default interzone packet filtering rule is to deny. Okay, so this is only needs uh, when actually we perform the filtering for the first time. If this particular filtering of packet is not the first packet, then we may actually refer to the session table. Session table is the table that only creates after the matchings of the rules is done. However, this is only valid for the first packet. So what you can see over here is actually the uh, flow process of creating a session table. Okay, so firstly, we actually need to check whether we have the session table when the packet comes to the firewall. If let's say um, session table is not matched, then we actually need to go forward to the next step. Check whether a session can be created Okay, so whether the session can be created, we also uh, need to check with the server map table, routing table, packet filtering rules, as well as net. So all these things, all this table, we are going to see uh, as list or as a guidance for creating our session table. If let's say the particular packet that we filter match or fulfill to the requirement that we have configured, therefore a session table will be created. Subsequently, the packet will be forwarded or to be discarded. If earlier on the session table is matched, then we, have, we just need to perform a normal security check and update our session tables with the information. So this, this information in the session table will serve as the historical information. So finally, we are also going to forward the packet as well. So coming back to our stateful inspection mechanism. So for this stateful inspection mechanism, you can actually see that uh, they are based on the connection status. So with this stateful inspection mechanism, a session will be created only when the first packet pass the inspection by the firewall. This can be actually matched together with our security policy. So if we actually have any sort of packet coming under the same sessions, they are going to be forwarded without further checking. So this particular function is by default enabled. If we're going to disable the stateful inspection mechanism, even if the pack, first packet do not pass the firewall, subsequent packet will also need to generate the uh, sessions when they pass the firewall. Okay, so what you can see next over here is sessions. So what is sessions? So sessions is actually the um, basis for our firewall. So we create our session table for any sort of data flow that passing through the firewall. The firewall itself will actually use uh, multiple parameters such as source and destination IP, the uh, port numbers as well as the protocol as the parameters. Then the session table will be generated dynamically to match with the uh, mentioned parameters. So the mentioned parameter is also what we call as the queen double. 
and this quintuple will be used to do our matchings. So, so far in our firewall, we basically are uh, able to filter based on the source and destination CIV, source and destination port number, the protocols, the users, as well as the applications. Now, what you can see over here now is actually how actually the uh, session table looks like in the Huawei firewall. Now, we have two commands over here. Firstly is uh, display firewall session table, okay, whereby we did in this command, you basically able to see the, first of all, the total number of sessions, then followed by the uh, applications, then uh, as well as the information such as the source IP, source port, destination IP, and destination port. If we want to see in detail for the session table, for the same command, we just need to add on a verbose. The verbose will give you more information. Example, the originating zones to the destination zone, the TTL or time to leave for this particular session inside our session table. Okay and the remaining time of these particular sessions. We also will be able to check out the uh, interface, the uh, next hub, as well as the MAC address. And finally, we, finally, we also will be able to see the uh, policy that it matched. 